For millions of years, our planet has evolved to sustain life for the billions of people who live here. Throughout her vast history, Mother Earth has remained in a pristine state of life-giving balance and abundance. But over the past decade, in what could be considered a blink of an eye, we changed the world we were meant to live in. With the coming of the Industrial Revolution, we polluted our air, contaminated our water, depleted our soils, and introduced thousands of new chemicals into our environment. These chemicals and pollutants have resulted in a more toxic environment than at any other time in the history of the world. And now, it is not only possible for you to end up with many of these chemicals in your body, it is inevitable. We inhale pollutants into our lungs from the fossil fuels we burn and consume herbicides and pesticides from the food we eat and water we drink. But these are not the only source of toxins in our bodies. A surprising number come from the personal care products and household cleaners we use every day. If you wash your face, brush your teeth, shampoo your hair, use deodorant or rub lotion into your skin, you almost certainly have potentially harmful chemicals in your body at this moment. It doesn't stop there. If you clean your clothes with detergent, live in a home with stain-free carpet, or drink bottled water, chances are you have potentially harmful chemicals in your body that can wreak havoc to your health. Most people realize that we now live in a world that's far different than only a few decades ago. We live with air pollution and water contamination, for example. And most people know about these issues because we hear about them every day in the newspapers and on television. But when it comes to personal care products like hair shampoo, color cosmetics, mouthwash, toothpaste, it seems that fewer people are well informed about the potentially harmful ingredients and the potential harm they can do long term. The problem essentially is that we are living with over 80,000 man-made chemicals in our environment. Chemicals that are used in everything from food and packaging, to personal care products, to prescription drugs, to solvents and cleaners and detergents of every kind. But not only do we have those 80,000 chemicals to contend with, we invent about 2,000 new ones every year. Even more shocking than that, we import or produce an estimated 7.1 trillion pounds of those chemicals into the United States annually. Do you think some of those chemicals are finding a way into our bodies? You can be sure they are. But the worst part is, there's no telling what kind of damage they're doing. Only 200 of those 80,000 chemicals have ever been tested for safety, and only five have been regulated by the EPA. What's really alarming is to look at the studies done by the EWG, the Environmental Working Group. They studied nine different individuals and found 167 chemicals in their bodies. In another study, they looked at the umbilical cord of 10 randomly selected newborn babies and found 232 different chemicals in their bodies. We are being polluted before we even get here. That's alarming. In yet another study, 16 hormone-altering chemicals were found in 20 teenage girls. Teen girls use more personal care and cosmetic products than the average adult woman and unknowingly expose themselves to higher levels of cosmetic ingredients linked to potential health effects at a time when their bodies are more susceptible to chemical damage. Perhaps the most important question we should be asking ourselves is simply, what can we do about it? The evidence that we actually have these toxic chemicals in our bodies is overwhelming. The good news is that we can do something about this to protect ourselves. We can use personal care products that don't contain potentially harmful ingredients. However, we also experience oxidative stress from our environment. When oxidation occurs, free radicals that are in our environment attack our cells they attack our DNA, and they disrupt normal cell function, similar to the way that an old car rusts. Over time, deterioration and oxidation occur, and when finally it takes its toll on our bodies, we begin to break down, we lose energy, 
we become sick, and ultimately, we age. Eating fruits and vegetables can help supply our bodies with antioxidants that combat free radicals by pairing up, neutralizing them, and rendering them harmless. But is it enough? Researchers now believe our foods are nutrient deficient due to overfarming. Because of the vast number of people our planet is required to support, we have depleted our soils of vital nutrients. In the 1800s, the human race had grown to a total world population of 800 million people. In only 100 years, that number doubled to 1.6 billion. Only 60 years later, we doubled again to 3.2 billion people. And then, in an even shorter amount of time, only 40 years, we doubled again to 6.5 billion living here on planet Earth. Dr. Linus Pauling, two-time Nobel Prize winner, said, you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. In the 1900s, one in every 80 people died of cancer. Today, one in every two and a half people will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. By 2050, it is estimated that every person born on Earth will get some form of cancer. Consider the $400 billion pharmaceutical industry, which for decades has been the most profitable industry in America. It makes a lot more money when we're sick than when we are healthy. The average person over 65 takes between 10 and 20 prescription pills every day. What is the alternative? As healthcare costs continue to skyrocket, more and more people are turning to natural products to maintain and promote their health. While our advances in modern science have introduced a plethora of harmful chemicals into our everyday lives, that same science has provided us with the means not only to pinpoint the problem, but to provide a solution. There is hope.